Alright guys, so what I'm showing you is the key right here for um, your graphical limits quiz. So this is your graphical limits key. So what I want you to do is you can kind of flip back and forth. I'm going to flip over to the graphical limits uh, graph and uh, show you this. So please uh, feel free to just go ahead and uh, just just compare the answers you got on the last slide to the questions and the what you think the answer is here. Just look at it and see if you have any questions about this to start class with. Okay. So like I said, I'm just flashing it up here for you. Um, there's the answers for the limits. This the graphical limits key right here okay so feel free to look at that and look at this other uh, document to see if you have any questions okay moving on um, let's look at the factorization techniques so what I want you to understand here is you have several different factorization te techniques here let's go ahead and go through this bit by bit Okay. Alright, so I'm just writing it down real quick. Okay. So as X approaches negative one third. Okay, so basically here's my function. Now this technique that you gotta recognize here is the difference of two squares. What this means is What, what the difference of two squares is, is, is basically um, a difference, there's your D, of two OT perfect squares. Okay? Well, that doesn't mean much because you can basically look at this and do it by guess and check. All right? So basically, this difference of two squares, you recognize two perfect squares, nine and one are perfect squares, and a subtraction. That's all you need to see. That's it. Okay? So 9x squared and negative one, perfect squares. Now, so you guess and check this. Basically, you want two things that multiply to give me 9x squared. Let's do 3x and 3x. And two things that multiply to give me negative 1. Well, that's positive 1 and negative 1. Okay? I check this, and it gives me 0x all day long. Okay? So 3x minus 3x is 0x all day long. Now, the trick is, just to remember, then when you have a difference of two squares, all you're going to do is square root the first. That gives you the 3x. And square root the second. That gives you the 1. And use a plus. Let's see. Plus and a minus. That's it. 3x and 1 plus and minus. Okay? So there's the perfect square uh, difference of two perfect squares technique, and it's fairly easy. You've seen it a bunch. But if you had a brain fart on your quiz, you've got to remember it. Okay, so let's let's go on to the next one. Oh, the bottom. Okay, so we factor the top. Now we need to factor the bottom. We're going to guess and check it. Okay. I, oh well, I'm going to guess. Uh, I'm going to guess two and two x and three x. Why? Because there's a five and two plus three is five. I don't know if that's right or not. 
Now I'm going to guess uh, 1 and 1, obviously, for what multiplies to give me 1. I'm going to check it. 3x, 2x adds to give me that 3x plus 2x is 5x. So I'm good. Those are my factors. So limit as x goes to negative 1 third. Oh, I can write it up here. Sorry. 2x plus 1, 3x plus 1. So here you have these canceling out. You've got your 3x minus 1 over 2x plus 1. Oh, let me zoom in just a tad. Okay, now you can plug in your negative one-third. So you got ditto 3 times negative one-third minus 1, or 2 times negative one-third plus 1. That's negative 1. Cancel. Negative 1 minus 1. That's negative two-thirds plus one. And one is just three over three. Negative two plus three is one. So one-third on the bottom. So keep change flip, negative two times three over one, which is, whoops, running out of room there. Negative six over one, basically, or negative six. All right, so that's what you should have got for number one. All right, so if I didn't make a mistake, two. Let's look at 2. Alright. Um, well, maybe we can just talk about 2. No, we can't because it's different. we got to do it. Limit as x equals uh, approaches negative 3 of 3x plus 9 over x squared plus x minus 6. Okay. So, here we go. Moving on. Right. I got to notice something right off the bat. I got to notice that so quickly. I've got to be just spider senses tingling. And of course, I direct sub this and I get 0 over 0. I didn't do that on the other one, but obviously, all these are 0 over 0. Y'all knew that going in. So I factor out my greatest common factor, and you've got to be able to see that right off the bat. All right? And then, boom, I've got that. Now I factor this one. That's pretty simple because it's got a leading coefficient of 1, all I got to do is split it into x and x, and now I just got to think about two things that multiply to give me negative 6 and add to give me 1. That's plus 3 and minus 2. There it is. Cancel, cancel. Plug in that negative 3, you end up with 3 over negative 5, or negative 3 fifths. Okay? Either or. All right, number three, we might just be able to look at it. Let's see if we could just look at it. Now, number three, another guess and check. 4x squared. I'm just going to show you the factorization. Uh, 4x squared minus 11x minus 3. Well, I think I'm going to combine the 4 and the 3. Okay, that's the bell. I'm, I'm going to finish this and get back to class. I think I'm going to combine the 4 and the 3 and make it negative because that's going to give me my negative 12. Okay? And then I'm going to combine the... Uh, well, all that's left is 1 and 1. Okay? 1x to make the 4x squared and then 1 to make the negative 3. Right? Yeah. Okay? So those are my factors for the first one. On the bottom, that's the difference of two squares. Square root of 16x squared is 4x. Square root of 1 is 1. So I've got 4x plus 1, 4x minus 1. Remember the pattern we just talked about. So you cancel, cancel. Colin McClure and Haley Wilson. Please and now you just runoff. plug in your x, which is uh, 1 fourth. And I don't know exactly know what that gives me right there. But there you go. There's a few factoring problems. I need you to look at this and, and just kind of understand what we're doing. Okay, I will be back with more.
Yes, you do. Uh, no. Y'all will take it when they force me to make you take it. You got plenty of stuff in here. So, um, you missed uh, Thursday and Friday? Yes, sir. Um, we did Friday. We should do a review of everything from the week, except for the greatest common factor. Uh, and uh, we did the first eight right here. So since you missed a few days, I just want you to get comfortable. Take a look at it. See what you can do. See what you can't do. See what questions you can do. We'll just take this later. Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah, coach, the restaurant. All right. <laughs> Y'all always go to the bathroom together?